You know, here at Scog and Dickey with our tech videos, we really like to cover a lot of different things. Pistons and turbochargers, supercharged big blocks that we rev out to 8,500 RPMs on our engine dyno just on the other side of this wall. But, you know, we also like to cover some tech videos that might be able to help out more of the common guy. We are a Chevrolet parts dealer. We're actually one of the biggest in the country. And we do ship out a lot of powertrain parts, like the 6L80 transmission right here. And over the past week, we have been noticing an influx of phone calls about customers that have questions about the 6L80 they bought. Now, this isn't a Chevrolet Performance 6L80, if you're wondering. Those are different. So this doesn't pertain to the Chevrolet Performance line. This is a factory replacement 6L80 transmission for say a truck and if you'll notice it doesn't have a tail shaft housing on it and that's actually kind of part of the confusion here you see they decided to merge a two-wheel drive part number and a four-wheel drive part number for these transmissions into one part number now if you're a four-wheel drive guy there's not really much of a problem you take this transmission and you bolt it on if you're a two-wheel drive guy you probably opened up this crate and started to panic. <laughs> There's no tail shaft housing on this thing. What do you do? Well, what you really need to do is take the tail shaft housing off of your transmission, or of course, you can purchase a brand new one from us. That is no problem. And swap it on to this existing transmission. It is a little bit of an extra step, but they did it to keep the cost down. As of recently, a lot of prices for a lot of materials, parts, what have you, have gone up quite a bit. And they don't want to pass that down to the customer if they don't have to. So one of the ways they saved on that was to take those two part numbers, mesh them together. And unfortunately, you two wheel drive guys might have to just do a little bit of work. Now, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, oh, I see six bolts back here. And as long as your tail shaft housing is in good shape, you really don't have anything to worry about. It will swap off and swap back on. The output shaft here is the same between the two. So you don't have to go swapping around parts like that. If you'll notice, there's a couple plugs back here, one down here and one up here. For your two wheel drive guys, you'll have to maybe drill a hole or knock these plugs out because this is what lubricates your yoke on the tail shaft housing here since there is a seal here. Once again, we appreciate you coming by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We do them every Friday. Most of them are performance oriented, but we don't forget our normal customers. Some of you guys that have a daily driver or maybe you have a race car and this transmission goes in your tow pig. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. We'll, we'll see you again for another one of our weekly tech videos. Have a good one.